Hey Aquarius, um, this is your monthly December, it's like the end of December, beginning of January, you will get another January reading, but your monthly December, uh, December, January, uh, 2017 reading. Um, before I get started on your reading, um, I just wanted to cover a couple things real quick. I am running a deal right now that I probably will extend into January, um, just because these are coming out late, um, due to personal reasons and symptoms from like my awakening and uh, growing pains and everything like that. Um, but I'm um, running a holiday deal um, where you get a $25, uh, you get a 30 minute reading and for $45 you get a 60 minute reading which is about half price. Um, for January it may go up slightly um, like maybe like $2. I'll, I'll let you know when January comes around. Um, but if it's like a little bit after and you're like, oh, I'm doing the December deal um, for Aquarius, like, you know, also honor it. I might go up like $2 just because there was unforeseen things um, that I didn't realize. Um, but if you pay within December, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably even still give it for the same price. Either way, it would either be like 25 if it changes, it would be $27 and then for a 30 minute reading and then 45 or $47 for... Uh, a 60 minute reading um, but it will be 25 and 45 if you pay within December or not long after um, a little bit into January I probably will run the same deal for January or it might go up slightly I'll let you guys know for January I'm not gonna keep repeating myself but I just feel bad because it's towards the end of it but I did put out a video about the deals um, but just hit me up if you want a reading and um, we'll see. Either way, I am going to be running deals and they will be um, pretty much about close to half off either way. Um, I'm also running a contest, um, which I'm also going to do in January too. And I did put a video out um, letting everybody know. But if you can leave a comment, it could be on any video. It only counts one, but leave a comment on any of my videos, you know, how it resonates, tell me your story. Um constructive criticism, whatever. I don't need to know if it doesn't resonate. These are general readings, so some, none, or all may apply. Um, but leave a comment, and then after December is over, in the beginning of January, I'll randomly pull a name, and you'll get a free hour-long reading, whoever wins. Um, and I am going to do it in January also, as well. So leave a comment. You know, get in the running for a free drawing. Um... Like, share, subscribe, comment, please subscribe. Um, but at the very least, remember about the holiday deals and comment. You know, at the very least, it puts you in the uh, running for a free uh, reading, a free hour long reading. Um, watch your sun, moon, your rising, uh, especially if this doesn't resonate or even if it does. Sometimes you get like a better picture when you watch all of them. Um, also check out like where your Venus is placed. Um, any significant um, areas in your chart. Um, if you don't know your um, your natal chart, I've never looked into that. I think I have like one or two descriptions uh, sites in my description box that can help you out with that. Also, if you're interested in a, in a reading, anything about donations, because some people have asked about that, um, any about me information, any of anything like that, um, look in my, in my description box of my videos. It tells the procedure and the link for payment, or if you want to donate, um, to help the channel grow, none is needed, but some is asked. So I figured this might make it easier. Um, you know, about me, um, information about the video, um, I do have a lot of ideas coming where I want to do different types of reading. I need to update my twin flame. I will at the very least do bi-weeklies. Um, but I also want to talk about some subjects that I'm passionate about, like narcissism, codependency, anxiety, depression, spiritual awakenings. Um, I know some people have asked me to talk about my story and my journey so far, so I will be doing a video about that uh, very soon. Um, but I have a lot of ideas, so stay tuned. Um, so I think that's it. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. So your reading. Um, I didn't pull too, too many Oracle cards because your, your energy is very like, it's exciting. Like as soon as I started pulling the cards, I don't know, like I was just excited. Like I wanted to smile. 
but I didn't have, I didn't like, I didn't have like time for all that extra fluff. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, mm, like straight to the point, like, like kind of focused, but not exactly. I had an image in my mind too when I was like trying to like kind of think about the energy or meditate on it. And at first I saw like a spark, hopefully not a spark that burns out too quickly uh, and then after that, it was like almost like a campfire and like like-minded people, friends sitting around a campfire talking, maybe even from the inspiration, like sharing stories, sharing thoughts, collaborating, sharing knowledge, maybe working together for a cause, um, very much inspired and passionate, um, from the fire. Um, so at first I saw like a Almost like, um, I don't know how to say it, like, like one fire stick, kind of like this, for lack of better words. And then after that, what I imagined was like a campfire, so it was like bigger. It, it had grown. So, uh, you know, what are you guys thinking about? I have a feeling that, um... The humanitarian side of Aquarius is, is starting to really be lit on fire and come about. Um, in the center of your reading, you have the Empress. Um, it, it's like, you know, you could go with like feeling on top. I, I feel for some people this is a love reading and maybe being inspired by a new love maybe some even have like third party situations or maybe this new love is outside of what you're already in I don't know so I'm going to say ahead of time apply this as necessary um to your situation whether it's work or a relationship or you know, whatever. I'll try to flip-flop as much as I can, but I'm not going to keep going back and forth on it. For the most part, I feel like a lot of Aquariuses, or at least the ones I'm supposed to, you know, relate with right now or resonate with, you know, get the message across to, I feel like this is... Um, this is more like almost life path type stuff. Like you guys are coming into your power. You guys are starting to know, you know, who you are, what you came here for, what you want, like what your mission is. You know, like more and more you are becoming discontent with what you are doing or the way things have been or the state of the world or the people in it or the way things are going. And you are just more and more wanting to come into and use your power and your knowledge to share that and bring forth the knowledge and, and make things right. Like you see, I feel like you see so many things in the world that is just, you know, wrong or could be better. Like it's just, it's not right. And it's like, you know, like you know these things and, and you have the power to change it. And you've been realizing more and more, like I have the power to change this. I have the power to speak up about it. You know, I should do my part on it or I'm just as bad as everybody else. And maybe if I start you know, if everyone, if, 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 if only one of a couple people felt this way, like what difference that would even make, you know? So it's like, you're really just like, I almost get the vibe too, like with the colors of this. I mean, I, I know that, you know, um, maybe there's pink, like as far as like sometimes pink is viewed as the heart chakra, even though it's mostly green. Sometimes it can be pink or like one around it. So maybe it's something about sharing the love and the compassion to people and the earth and the environment. But I also very much get like 
the third eye chakra and the crown th cha the crown chakra in this like you guys are really accessing consciously or unknowingly uh to the knowledge of these realms and it's it's really inspiring you it's really just lighting a fire underneath you like just so many ideas like you guys are focused and if you're not fully focused like you're getting there more and more or or maybe that's you know why this is crossing is maybe you're getting all these ideas and you're getting all this passion and all this fire and this energy you're feeling feeling inside of you but maybe you need to focus more in order to um you know really do what you want to do so you're either very focused or you need to focus a little bit more like this is what's crossing you or what you could focus on so some of you are like just focused and then some of you are you're working on it <laughs> but at the very least um you feel it just building and building and building inside of you um And like three is about communications, like, um, I think it's the house of communication. So it'd be like Gemini's, which is very about communicating. Like you guys are just bursting with this information and you want to share it. You want to communicate it. You want to collaborate and share and inform. And you guys are just more and more like just getting fired up about it and you like you have something in mind for sure you have something you're putting together and you're either very focused on it or you're working on focusing on it um whatever all this is like this is the death card like this is very much something that's very transformative like the end of one way and the beginning of another and that's what you're trying to work on like He's coming from a path where there's like two faces too, where it's like confused. Like you very much also have very much a duality in this where you guys are either really trying to decide or you're going from one area to another and you guys really have been having a lot of ideas about a new path and you see it, you're focused on it and you're either in the midst of transitioning or, you know, you're you're working on it or working on becoming focused or you see it and you know it but this is this is your challenge like this is your goal is to become focused and to start going for it and in in transforming like you guys are very much in a transformative state and coming from you know which path do I go and and then they found it they found the path and they're going like with bells on like they're excited about it um what's in your foundation or in your more distant past is you have the mother of pentacles which is the queen of um the the queen of pentacles and you have the eight of cups so um you know for some people this literally could be a new job venture or you wanting to do something like maybe not so much of like a nine to five job or something that's so traditional, um, but something that is really nurturing, not only to yourself, but to the environment. Um, you're, you're done with those, those ways and you're wanting to move on and move on to ways that is more spiritually aligned with you, that spiritually evolves you as well whether you realize it or not, like you could just purely be like an inspiration and you're like, Oh, I'm wanting to do this. And maybe you don't even realize that it's, it's spiritually aligning you with your higher self and your purpose. But I think it very much is like, you're, you're very much wanting to do that environmental, like very nurturing of animals and the environment and the people in it and making things right. And in sync, like, Aquarius is very much about humanitarianism and I think you're just done with this old way and you're ready to step into it and you're starting to see it and it could either be in your, a job field or it could just be like in your hobbies or in just the things you like to do in life. Um, you know if this is a relationship thing like 
maybe you're feeling on top of your game or you you found a new person and and you're inspired by them but like I said I don't want to go back and forth and confuse this message I feel like most of this is about so I, I'm I'm just not even going to do that again does you apply this as necessary like I feel like most of this is about um I think a lot of Aquariuses are wanting to change the world. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because it's exciting. Like, it makes me feel like high on life almost. Um, it's 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 just such a great energy. Um, in your recent past, again, like you have the Daughter of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. Like, look at all this. Not only is this aligning in your chakras, like. Who knows, maybe you went through an awakening or maybe like your chakras are aligning, but at the very least, you got some creative inspiration going and you have the beginning of something that is creative and artistic and just something that you are going to love. And uh, this is the nine of wands. So on one hand, again, like just like this eight of cups shows, like you are done, like you're done with the other way. Like not only is this like, okay, I'm ready to move on, but this is like, uh, yeah, I'm like even more there. So it's been a long road. You're tired of it. It's been a lot, but not only that, but this inspiration, like your higher self is probably guiding you and has been helping you to take these steps to listen to your intuition and is guiding you with what to do. Um, I mean, look at this, like, you know, I mean, this is like some crazy creative venture like you guys have really been working on. And something is guiding you there. I think you're tired of an old way too. And you're like, mm, I want to transform my life and change it to do this. Maybe you still keep your job and you just do it as a hobby on the side. Or maybe you're completely wanting to change everything and change like your whole way of doing it. And like almost rebel as that, you know, Aquarius nature does of not having to fit in the box and not having to do it. And seeing how almost that nine to five job or fitting in the box is almost a way of what is wrong with this world to some degree, I mean, unless somebody chooses that, but the way that it's almost programmed into this society and the way people are almost like brainwashed growing up, uh, you see, like you see what is causing it. You see what's wrong and you see where, you know, the power struggles are and where people are just sheep to a large degree. And you're like, no, not only am I refusing to be a part of it, but I want to, I want to share that with other people and something is really guiding you to that and guiding that inspiration that you've been feeling that is making you just want to burst. Like I can only just imagine like this Empress vibe right now to me is almost like this is just so much inside of you that you're just wanting, just bursting with this knowledge, bursting with this information, bursting with this power, like, like the Empress. She's so full and abundant that it flows outwardly, you know, that caring and that nature and that nurturing and abundant side, it flows outwardly like a full cup of a cup of self-love. It's yours is so full. It flows outwardly. It's, this is the same vibe I get with this Empress card. It's like you are just not only receiving this information from like the higher things, like you're really connecting and in tune and getting some messages from your higher self uh, to kind of walk this path in your intuition. But you you guys are just like, you're very in tune and you're you're just like bursting inside, I feel like. Uh, when I went to like, what is crowning the situation? <laughs> like you had so many cards. Um, so I'll tell you what they are first and then kind of go through them, like tell you what I think, but let me pick them all up first. I mean, you guys literally were like, <laughs> almost like a Gemini vibe. You have the star card. There you are. So it could be healing too, but I see this more as like, you guys see your path, like you guys see your path. Yeah. Like you're being guided and you, 
you see your path where you're supposed to go. And not only is it going to transform you and bring your balance, but you're wanting, it's want, it's making you bring your humanitarian side of them. Like you, you want to bring this transformation and balance to the world around you. And, you know, again, like you're being guided by your intuition on this, the Son of, Pen- Son of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles. So like you're, you're moving, you know, slowly, like you're, you're working on getting your focus together. So it's like you're still, you know, getting your thoughts, you're still getting your plans, you're moving very slowly, still like dotting your I's, crossing your T's before you go, but you're slowly moving forward. Like the Knight of Pentacles is the one that's the slowest, but they get there. They're the, they're the one that gets there. And you're listening to your intuition. But you're really being methodical about this because you're trying to put together a new pattern, a new a new way of life, a new way to go about this, but you're trying to structure it in a way that is strong, that will hold up, that is long lasting, that doesn't have holes or flaws or just being too, too fast and in and out of an energy. Like you're, you're not, you don't want to be like this fast in and out energy. You want to be this slow and methodical energy, which is really kind of amazing actually uh it shows a lot of evolution i'm not saying this bad in a way of aquarius but i know a lot of aquarius aquarius sometimes do have that fast but fast burnout kind of thing and um you guys this must you guys must really care about this because you are like really wanting to make sure that the plan that is put together is all put together right and strong and there is not a weak thread in it but you're working on it. This is the Eight of Pentacles. But this spider has really put together a very sound web. It's It does not have any weak areas. Um, and like I said, this is something that you really, really love. So again, this could be a relationship and you're wanting to take it slow and make sure it's sound. Apply that as necessary. But I think this is something that you really, really love. Like this makes you feel complete this makes you feel at home within yourself this makes you feel passionate and alive and on fire you know it's like the capricorn energy like they're workers like you you want to work on this so bad like you want to rid just the bad the the negative patterns and toxic toxicities in the world the controlling nature in this world you're really wanting to work on this energy and just go and make the world right one step at a time and do your part in it as well as like this is you like the Capricorn energy like I said also has like that worker mentality like you are on fire and you're wanting to move on and move towards it and move towards like these rainbows these sunny days like the calmer waters not only within yourself because you know you're really getting this vibe and you're really getting a fire lit under your butt and to some degree it's making you feel alive and to some degree it's putting on that pressure on you because what does pressure do especially when you think right about it it inspires you it inspires you to grow just like the lobster you know i always use the lobster story but a lobster grows and its shell tightens It puts pressure on the lobster, which makes the lobster then know it has to go under a rock, shed its shell, stay under the rock while it's vulnerable, grow a new bigger shell, and then go out into the world, you know, having grown and and now stronger and having a better, a better, you know, environment and something that's stronger for it. But that that's what is a lot of wrong with the way the world and the society views things is they're like oh my god there's pressure and it's like oh go run go see a doctor which don't get me wrong like meds are great temporarily or you know if if you have something mentally you know up um or if you need help transitioning or something happened in your life or you just need someone to talk to absolutely but I do feel like our society is way over medicated at the same time and not taught to go within and do that work and use, use that pressure as growth. Instead, we almost have been taught to numb it out so that we can keep going with the way that society and, you know, 
you know, if you want to be like the government and all that, but at least the way society has went to almost brainwash people to thinking that they have a choice and they are like, oh no, we have a choice. But what they do is they present these ch limited choices that seem like they're different, but they're actually all the same and controlled by something else of the same sort. It's an illusion of choices that people actually think they have and they don't. Unless you start to see the kind of matrix of it all and and then you realize you do have a choice. So I, I know I seem like I'm not making sense, but if you don't see the matrix, you actually don't have a choice. If you do see the matrix, you do have a choice. It's going to be a little bit harder on you. And it's still not as much of a choice as we should have, but the more people that we can educate and the more people that we can wake up to that matrix, the more that everybody is going to be able to move to these calmer waters and these rainbowy sunny days and everybody having their own choices, their own way to live their life as the way we should be on this earth and not about the control or the, the brainwashing or, you know, just to let everybody wake up. Like you want to help people wake up and help them make this world right and not act like, oh, we're doing good. And really, it's like you're really slapping their face without them knowing. I mean, I could go into this so long. I might do some videos on it, but I'm not going to go too long on a rant here in this video. But if I'm resonating with you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you want to go there. You want to inform people. You want to share this loving knowledge and this nurturing and, and this almost intuitive, like what you know, what you see, like you've got the messages. You got it. You see it, especially in Aquarius. I mean, come on now. You know, I mean, there's a lot of them out there, like Scorpios and Tauruses are great too, but like Aquariuses and Pisces and especially Aquarius. I mean, my husband's an Aquarius and I mean, the stuff he sees and knows and like just, I mean, that, that higher knowledge is just amazing and you guys know it and you guys see it. And I mean, it bothers him in the same way. Like you guys are over it. You're over it. And it's like, it, it's time that people step up. It's time that people put their crown on like the queen of cups, put your crowns on, use your intuition, use your knowledge, share the love and the compassion and help people wake up to the wondrous world and help people make break out of this illusion and this matrix is what is really what I feel is going on here. Like, I think it just bothers you and it saddens you and maybe you just woke up to this or maybe you did it. Maybe you just have known it for a while, but you, you have, you are just getting so tired of it. Just the, to the state that it's in, the state that the world is in, the state that society is in. And, and it's part of the frequency of the planet going on right now that is pushing people to wake up. Um, and, and you're highly getting that message like you are just over it. And you're ready for this world to be a better place. And I think you're really wanting to be a part of that. I hope that's what's going on here because if so, it's awesome. Um, how you feel you're in, you're done with the cycle. You are done with it. You are ready to put an end to it. I mean, you have like end of your cycles all over the place. You have the death card, you know, you have the eight of cups, the nine of wands, like you are over it and you're ready to end this cycle and you want to make the world a better place. I, I mean... I think it's in January or the end of January where it's like the age of Aquarius, the time of knowledge. <laughs> wow, that's so awesome how this is like matching up. Like, are you guys waking up to like share this knowledge and be like, that's right, it's kind of the time of Aquarius because we're about to step up. It's the time of knowledge. It's the time of old patterns and old cycles and of people not standing up for their rights and who they are and acting like sheep. What's in your environment uh, or how others see you is 
you have the father of wands, you know, again, I mean, it's interesting actually, because you have the son of wands and this is what's crossing you. So it's like, it's what you need to do or really what you're trying to do. You're really trying to focus and you're really trying to put one step forward. And almost like how others see you as the king of wands. This is what's crossing you. And this is how others see you. Look at the difference in them. Like, look how much more is here. Look how much more prominent. I mean, this might be you just getting the message. Like, but I almost kind of get this vibe like, there's so much you want to do and there's so much you think you can do. And when you go to do it, it's like, you just feel like you're quite not ready. Or do you really doubt your abilities or do you really think like, well, I'm only one person? Like, do you see yourself as this, but yet others are seeing you like this? Like, do you realize that you have more impact on those around you than you even realize? Like, are you kind of doubting yourself? Are you kind of subconsciously keeping yourself in a little bit of a box that you're wanting to help others to get out of? Make sure you're not limiting yourselves, Aquarius. Don't doubt yourselves. Even if you have ways to grow, like everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts and grows somewhere. It, it, that, that doesn't matter. That's a fear-based mentality if that's what you're doing. So you go forward and step out and you see yourself like this. And even if you are still like this, it, it doesn't matter. Because everybody who's great, which we're all great, but everybody who's great started somewhere what made them great is that they didn't start and then get scared and stop or they didn't burn out they pushed forward even though they didn't know they pushed forward with not knowing everything with that knowing that they were going to learn and having that thirst for knowledge and that thirst for change that they were going to go through anything just to make that happen. Almost even being fed by that energy of the lack of knowledge because they wanted to know even more so bad. They wanted to help even more so bad. Courage is not someone who moves forward and doesn't have fear. Courage is moving forward in spite of fear. Courage is doing that work on yourself to know what it takes to move that fear into the side cart so that it rides with you and inspires you and protects you, but it does not control or dictate you. So don't ever view yourself as less than or think that you're not ready because the only way that people ever become ready is yes, by research, but by then getting their feet wet. Get your feet wet, Aquarius. You might also have someone around you who is inspiring you too. So that might also be it as well. And, and they're inspiring you or like a mentor or you want to be like them. But I feel like other people see you as this and you see you as this and um, I fully get it, but make sure that you don't just see the box other people put themselves in. Make sure you're also looking at how it applies to you and don't let it stop you because you're, you're bored and very discontent with the world right now. You feel it's tainted and it's not right. I think you think there's a lot of rats and a lot of just toxicity that you want to go and clear out and make right. And this really just, wow. Oh. 
like just it fires you up and others see that yet here you are thinking this is you do you realize even that others see you like this meanwhile you're thinking you're coming across only like this Use this as your opportunity to help inform yourself that others see you as more than you see you. Don't limit yourself. Your hopes and your fears, you have the five of pentacles reverse. Like you hope to come out of the cold on things. You hope for others to come out of the cold. You hope for this world to become a healthier place. You fear you are discontent with it being in the state it's in, I believe. I think this is what you fear or what you don't want is people being out in the cold or being sad or like even being out in the cold, not only like money wise, like you might see how people are even being controlled money wise, only being able to get up to a certain level to some degree, but being out in the cold information wise and instinctually and intuitively and you see that the world is in the state it's in because of that and you do not like it. So that is something you don't want. Your hope is to change that and to share the knowledge. Your likely outcome. You have so many things in the endings of cycles. I mean, you have the death card, you have the world card, you have the wheel of fortune. But it's interesting because you have... The Five of Swords, so you're definitely conflicted. I mean, maybe you're going back and forth with people about this, but I more see this as you're you're conflicted. You don't like it. You you want things to change. You maybe you want people to get their karma, but I I more see this as you want things to change. You want the wheel to turn. You want things to change. Um, and maybe even things are up in the air for you right now because you're in the midst of a transition and figuring out what you're doing. But, and then you have the moon, like where you're like, exactly what way do I want to go with this? Like, I'm not sure I'm going forward slowly cause I'm not sure. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't make rash decisions and I dot my I's and cross my T's and make sure that it's put together very, very well. And I have to even move together a little bit slower. I am following my intuition though, because I'm in the dark a little bit about this. I'm following my intuition. I am receiving guidance and help and being pushed forward, but I don't really know. It's almost like there's a path or even like, which way do I go with this? And it's interesting if you hold all of these up because you could tell that there's change coming. Like the wheel of fortune is about like change being in the air. But what's interesting, if you hold them together, is like, look, it's almost like this sword has divided this in half, like two paths, like going down the middle. And then you also have like, here's the change in the middle. And then again, you have the two halves and you have the path. What are your two paths? Is it between doing it and not? Is it between your old job and making this your new job? Are you trying to decide exactly what way to help people? I think you're wanting to come in and just put an end and cut it. Like this worm is almost like the old way and you want to come in and sever it. Like you want to just cut that off, create the change and show people that there are other ways that they have more options, that they are being kept in the dark and they just need to see their intuition that there are more options than they know. 
So I think that's another option. I think you're trying to decide between paths, but I think you're also wanting to cut this illusion, create this change in the environment and in society and show people to use their intuition to show them the light, enlighten them and show them that there are actually more options. That if they don't see the matrix, they actually really don't have options. The only way that they have options is if they see the matrix. If they come out of being in the dark. I think you're trying to decide either how to go about doing this and also to help show people to come out of being in the dark. And to how also you to use their intuition so that they can see through the dark. So they can see through the illusion that they can see through the lies. They can see the matrix. So I had um, another deck that wanted to be used. It wanted to be played with. But yet it didn't want to clarify so I'm like, okay, well, tell me, tell me what you want to tell me then. So again, you have the star. Here's you being guided down your path and following your path. And bringing the knowledge that you know. Being burdened. And being done with it. Here's your nine of wands. And your recent past. And here's your ten of wands. You're getting pushed. You're getting tired of it. You're like, I'm done. I'm done seeing all this. I'm done carrying all this knowledge. And I'm done walking with all this stuff that I know and just keeping my head hidden in it and not looking around and not telling everybody. And I'm sharing it. I'm manifesting it. I'm going to show the world about all the manipulation and about all the control that they don't see. And I want to show them that we all have the tools to manifest whatever we want to manifest. That our lives are what we make it. And to help them break out of the matrix. To help them see the light. This is something that you're hearing. You're hearing your call. And you know that others do too. And you want to help bring them to it. You want to help everybody feel empowered. And everybody know that they have the power to do they, what they want. And to be inspired. And to do things right. And make the world right. And listen to their intuition. This black hat's about intuition. You want everyone to feel empowered. And you want everyone to feel like you. And to have the knowledge that you do. And to be bursting with that abundance. And that life. And that knowledge. And that nurturing inside. In that way that we all come back together. And work with each other again. And that we all share our qualities. Instead of being in competition with each other. Because when we come together, there's so much more that we can do. Because if we're kept apart in the way that the matrix does, they know that it limits our power. They know that it limits our control and they know it limits us feeling like the empress. And you want to share this. You want to work with others. You want to show others and share this knowledge. And you want to help people learn this so that we can start to cut away what no longer serves us in this environment and in this world and in society anymore. It is coming to the new age of Aquarius and the time of knowledge and the time of knowing. And the Queen of Swords knows. She knows. And she knows what to cut away that isn't right and that is no longer working anymore. This is what Aquarius wanted to share. Aquarius wants people to feel like this. 
and you guys are in the midst of deciding how to do that and what path to pick that you're going to be able to help the world. Hopefully not in a controlling way. <laughs> I don't think so. But what's important to you is the state of the world. And that's, that's the path that you're picking. How you go about doing it, I think those are the finer details you're working on right now. But you have the world in mind. Again, you have the King of Wands. Again, you have the three. I think you have the three of cups. Maybe you didn't. Maybe it was just the three of pentacles and you had the two of cups. But you have the two of cups and the four of cups and the three of cups. Again, though, coming together with like-minded people. Sharing the love, celebrating good times. Speaking your truth. Ending all the conflict in the world. I mean, obviously you're not going to end all of it, but speaking your truth about the conflict and what's wrong in the world. Like, about these people. Like, you're wanting to come in and speak your truth about, like, this. Like, this guy is somebody who fights just to fight. They just want to dominate people and win over just to be like that, have all the control. They want to, they want to dis, like, disempower, um, sabotage, like take away power. I can't think of the right word right now. They want to take away power from the people around them. And it's almost like this is society. This is the matrix and the way it takes power away from people. And you want to come and share this knowledge with people and let them know about it. And let everybody know about their own power, their own self-love. The renewal of love and knowledge within themselves and allow it to overflow and then they help people and then they help people and it just goes, it keeps overflowing and going and it, it creates a tower moment within society. Maybe even scary, should I say a revolution? I don't know, I didn't say that but at least people starting to stand up for themselves because now they know and they have that love and they've gone within and they've, they, they, they are enlightened now. They know and they know what to do to make their world like this. To know that they have the power to come out of this fear-based mentality, to take back their independence To bring forth their internal dark and light, masculine and feminine. Take back their power and move on and start to move forward just like you're doing. You want to empower others to do exactly what you're doing. That's awesome. Or, you know, relationship wise, you could be healing, tired of something, manifesting a relationship with somebody from your past or somebody new coming in and you're either going to go with this lady or this lady or this lady or this man or this man or this man <laughs> and you've got, you got a third party situation. We're not focusing on that, but that might be an option. Okay, okay. You did have the Three of Cups. I knew you had the Three of Cups. So again, coming together, you want to share this knowledge with people. Like, look, this birdie is sharing. Birds are about communication. This bird is sharing communication with these two birds. And you're, you're going on this path. You're trying to figure out exactly how to do it. And you got these colors of the chakra. Like, it's, it's aligning. It's aligning within you to share this knowledge. And something you really care about emotionally and you, you want to share it you want to bring balance to the world and again the ten of cups you want to bring them emotional fulfillment you're tired of people being stripped of emotional fulfillment 
And to some degree, yes, they have a victim mentality, but to some degree, it is society that gives people a lack mentality and a fear-based mentality that keeps them in this Ten of Wands stage instead of this Ten of Cups stage. This deck says, like, exactly the same thing. I'm not even going to keep going with it. Like, it just keeps reiterating and iterating and iterating. So, I was guided to pull for you a Life Purpose Oracle card, and you pulled out Justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to help others who need your help. You want to make things right in this world. You want to bring back balance. Creative expression, your soul longs to create itself expressively through this mission. Your oracle cards. You have the Nautilus Princess, powerful personal growth from this Son of Wands in your mind to this Father of Wands. You guys know your path. Don't shy yourself out from it. But it's it's good that I love that you care that much about it. That you guys are really like making sure you're like doing it right and going forward. Like I think that's awesome because I do know like there are some Aquarius that sometimes that get so fired up and they sometimes peter out quickly or whatever. Uh, so this must be something that you really, really love. And I love that. So this is going to bring you positive personal growth, transition to the spiritual realm. Like this is raising your frequency. Like this is working on bringing things uh, to like a 5D reality. But you are getting communication from the higher realms and it is pushing you. It says, Poe, time for change to learn something new, to use technology and gadget, gadgets with wisdom. I mean, isn't that like all about Aquarius, like technology and gadgets and higher knowledge and using technology and gadgets for higher knowledge? Like, it's crazy. You guys are here bringing time change to this world and, and doing it in all your Aquarius ways. And this is divine, like the seven, this is divinely guided. Like you guys are for sure being pushed by your higher selves on this. Fairy of the green world, the natural world needs you. I think that's enough said on that. Like, and if you need healing, it is going to heal you, heal you too. But it's, it's bringing on a new era. Like, oh my God. All right, so let's see if there's any spiritual guidance for Aquariuses for December, end of December, beginning of January 2017, 2018. What spiritual guidance do you have for Aquariuses to help them along with all this? Follow their path. Do you have the Five, five of Pentacles? Like, it's almost like maybe where, um, like, you something you might feel like it's too much for you or being, like, left out in the cold, like, like, they're falling and, like, others are laughing or, like, what they're going to have to fight against. Like, maybe, like, he went on his mission and he, he just feels like it's too big. Like, all the, like, the problem in society is too big and maybe that's what's keeping you feeling like this. And it's telling you, like, don't, don't do that. Like, don't have that same fear. But it's the same. You may see part of the matrix, but for you to stay stuck in this means you're not seeing all of the matrix. Because it means that you're still allowing it to limit you and keep you in a box. And you need to see this. This is a judgment card again. You need to see this. Hear your call and know that even the littlest bit you do, you are part of a collective. This guy knows, like, he's rising from the ground. He knows that he's part of the whole. He knows he's part of the earth, of the universe, that he is part of the collective. 
Don't go about this mission thinking about that you're the only one who's going to change this world. You go about doing whatever you can do. Because everyone else who's going forward doing whatever they can do, you are part of them. It's the sum of all those parts. So in a way, even though you don't see it, you are changing the world. Because it's from everybody who keeps stepping into this mission. And then everybody that you awaken, even if it's three people, it's exponential growth. Those three people are going to help more people. And then those people are going to help more people. And then those people are going to help more people. Which means at the end of the day, you did change the world. And you were big enough to make an impact. Remember that you are part of a collective. Don't look at it like you're going at this alone. Even if you don't know them, even if we're spread out all along the world, you are part of a whole and part of that collective whole that is waking others up and it will keep growing and growing. Remember what's important to you. Remember your spiritual part. Remember what you want and go towards that. Don't let anything else distract you. She has like dragonflies all around her. And dragonflies can go in any direction. So when you're doing this. Figuring out this path. And trying to put together whatever you want. Just know you can go any way you want with this. The only thing you have to remember. As you're spiritually moving on. And ascending on your eight of cups. And walking that path. Is to remember what's important to you. Remember where your love is. Because you are being guided on this. This is the high priestess. She knows she's being guided. Look at this. This is the matrix. This is them. The runners of the matrix. So this would be the matrix. This would be the sheep. This is the runners of the matrix. And this is them holding their souls. This is the Five of Cups. You act like the Five of Cups, your hopes and your fears. You know what it is to help people get their souls back. You know what it is to help them have this knowledge again. And you move forward and do that again, the Queen of Cups, to help people go back in their power. What this is saying is... Because you could see all the chaos going on around her. Look at her. Like there's fish all over the place. She's walking on water. There's fish all around her. The wind's blowing her hair all over the place. But she's walking forward and she's walking on water. And she is not phased by any of it. If anything, she is coming with this with such force that she might even be what's causing this chaos around her. You guys with your Uranus planet. Messing stuff up. But to cause something better. Because this is being guided by your higher self. To go after your mission, your life path, and what you want. All right, so we're going to pull one more card. This is a crystal a healing, healing crystal card for Aquarius, December, January, 2017, 2018. What do you want to tell us for Aquarius? We got two. So you got Peridot, Perido, emotional cleansing, Peridot, Perido, freeze the mind from unwelcome, envious thoughts and night terrors. It's transmutative and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. By nature, jealous, you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions, learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others. 
You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Exactly, the matrix. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Parado, parado, I think it's parado, indicates farewells and disappointment and love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and je jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. So if this is a love thing in a third party situation, like do do some self work and um, do some emotional cleansing. But I get this mostly for the ones that are on their journey of changing the world and all that. Uh, emotional cleansing, like realize, because I do feel like I said earlier, I think there is something little that is holding you back to where like you see the matrix, you see how it's affecting people, but there's still a small part of it that you're stuck in to where you're seeing yourself with this fear-based mentality that's keeping you feeling like this instead of feeling like this. Like you're, you're not enough, you... You, you're you're not you you can't change enough and that's a very limiting belief like you are just as strong and just as good as anybody else um maybe this is a person a mentor even around you and they've inspired you but you feel like you're not as good as them hopefully you're not envious like hopefully you're not like i said earlier like you're trying to control the world or doing this to have attention on you but I don't really get that. I think this is to show you that you need to also do the self-work and emotionally cleanse yourself so that when you go and change the world, you can come with that balanced mirror. You can come and really show because you don't want to be helping others while bringing other fear-based mentalities. Like you want to have done the work yourself. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like a healer. A healer has to heal themselves in order to heal others. And yes, they're always healing, but... You want to try to heal as much as you can and purify and cleanse and detox as much as you can so that you're bringing the best and cleanest messages forward and energies forward as you can. So you have Charoite, char char C-H-A-R-O-I-T-E, Wound Healing. Provides deep physical and emotional healing. Transmuting negative energy, it converts dis-ease to wellness. This is exactly what you guys are wanting to do. You're wanting to transmute this negative energy in the world. With its assistance, you recognize your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. It re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities. You have a lot of dualities in here. Um... Healing past life disease carried on to into the present life. Like you have, you have this two of pentacles duality. You have the two of cups is kind of a duality. You have this moon duality. This is like a duality. Um, deep fears. And schisms, 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 pervade your being. You may not feel that you belong on earth. Alienation and insecurity lie beneath a deceptively calm surface. You are subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Your, autonom your autonomic nervous system or autonomic, sorry, autonomic nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. Time to take control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past lives suggest ways to redress karma personally and collectively. In accepting the present moment as perfect, you create space to heal. Service to humanity. Healing the wounds of the past. Like you guys are coming. You might have had past lives on this. Maybe you guys want to go do like work with somebody with past life regression or do some like you know, hypnosis or meditations for past life regression, because I think, you know, not only are you guys, um, wanting to do this work, maybe to heal something within yourself, but also heal something with a past life, but maybe you even did this within a past life. And there's maybe attributes and characteristics that you can tap into from that past life. Um, and from those, cause you kind of unknowingly carry those skills forward, um, to where you can tap into it. Um, 
but it's about you also having to do the inner work with this too and realize what is holding you back and make sure you're clearing out any of your old patterns, your old negative or fear-based beliefs, any of those things that are holding you back so you could really bring your A game even more. But don't let it completely stop you because one of the greatest things about stepping forward in spite of this sometimes is that there are going to be things you don't know about yourself and that's okay because this process is going to show you them. And then you just humbly work through it and you heal it and you keep moving. You know, all the great people had to work through things as they became great. And they just they just took them on as they came. They reprocessed it. They healed it. They did the work and then they released and what's going to happen is you're helping other people now because you've been doing that work by stepping forward. And because of stepping forward, it has presented those challenges. Now, as you're helping other people step through their, their challenges, you're now going to know what they're going through, what it feels like and how to help them because you went through it yourself too. be humble during this time and be okay with knowing that this process is growing you into the father of wands and that you have to step forward in order to have that process happen and know that this is a process that you welcome growth and you welcome lessons. The greatest leaders are the ones that lead knowing they don't know everything because they're always willing to learn, they're always willing to listen and they're always willing to collaborate. They're not just trying to control and run things. So think about that. That's almost an interesting dynamic. Like if this is holding you back that you feel like you're not ready and maybe you have a fear-based mentality on it, are you almost having like a controlling thing on it that the matrix has itself? Because if you're coming at this, looking at this properly, you're going to want to look at it differently than like the people who are behind the matrix and all that. You get what I mean by behind the matrix, the society and all that, all that, all the stuff that runs the illusion in, in, in people's minds and in what they present to society. The, you get it. I'm not going to keep explaining it. But if, if this fear-based mentality is holding you back, it's a thing of not being good enough and of control. I think you're really wanting to be a great leader here. The thing about it is remember this. Like I said, the great leaders are the ones who know this is a growing process for them and they're humble through it and they're willing to do as much as they can at the current time that they know, but they're always wanting to grow. They're always wanting to learn and they're always wanting to help and they're always welcoming those opportunities for learning and for growth because they become wiser for it. You can help more people by going through challenges and overcoming them and then being able to help others with the same problems than if you walked into this and never had challenges. Nobody ever grows without challenges. Remember where your heart is on this and stay humble and know, no, I don't know everything, but I know enough to know that it's not right. And I'm walking forward anyways, and I fully embrace the challenges that come because it will only make me a better leader. If you're walking into this just with control or just with knowing everything or being like, I've got to be all this, then you're coming maybe from the same place unknowingly that society from the people that are running the way society is. Stay humble. Aquarius, stay humble during this process and do the emotional work, the self-work, self-discovery and walk forward knowing that you don't know. Isn't that part of the greatest part of the journey too? I mean, Aquarius has always want to learn. Do you really want to walk through this process not learning anything? No. Because that's what's going to make you better and that's what makes it fun learning sometimes you gotta learn about yourself <laughs> not just about the world around you though do the work I'm gonna go I think that's enough of this um I hope you had a Merry Christmas I hope you have an amazing and a safe new year if you guys celebrate that 
move forward, rock on with all this, remember why you're doing it. That's the only thing that matters. All the rest of it unravels as it should by you moving forth and, and, and spreading like the love and the truth like you want to. Um, I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget about the holiday deals. Don't forget to comment. You can give it put in for a reading. Um, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thank you. Good luck. You guys, if this is what you're up to and I'm right on this, you've inspired me even more. Um, so yeah, I love you. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Hey Aquarius, uh, one more thing. I totally forgot to tell you your likely future card. Like I jumped from what's crowning you and in your thoughts to how you see yourself. You may or may not care, but in your likely future, you got the Hierophant card. And this is all about you guys sharing your knowledge that you've learned. Birds are about communication and you guys have like, you guys do have the key to this communication. You guys are sharing the knowledge. It's about lessons. It's about helping others and sharing that knowledge with others. So, I don't know. I thought maybe you'd want to know that this is in your likely future that you guys do actually do what you guys are wanting to do as long as you walk this path, that you guys are sharing the knowledge and helping others and you guys are a key part to helping others wake up. So, yay! All right, I just want to let you know that. Bye. Love you.